Good morning guys, welcome to Tech Foundation and today is my first brand new video about my solar setup and we are here at Birdsville Park. It's 9.30 in the morning and I'm going to be showing you all these different kinds of solar panels that are connected to my Pecron power station for an off-grid supply. So let's dive right into it. So currently we are here at Birdsville Park and it's 12th of August, the sun is a little bit low and the temperature is about uh, 13 degrees Celsius right now. So we are going to take a look at the performance of these all powers 400 watt solar panels. So let me mention a quick thing about these panels. I've been using these panels for roughly about um, two, two and a half years now and they have been sitting outside non-stop in all weathers. It let's say in the winter as well pretty much but I wind them up sometimes and most of the times these panels have been seeing some harsh weather rain a lot of snow and pretty much all the debris that you find at the campsites so let's get started so this is my all powers 400 watts polycrystalline solar panel the maximum VOC for this panel is 44 volts and the maximum voltage at peak power is about 37.5 volts so these panels are most likely connected in parallel because if you shade one the other one is not quite affected here we are so let's take a look at the front of the panels so as you can see the front of the panel is very clean it's not been damaged and there is no hot spots whatsoever the only downside of these panels is that it's the back and the seams in between the panels are made out of fabric so what happens is if it rains too much or if it snows too much and then there's intense sunlight right after it's gonna cause a lot of discoloration between the panels as you can see the seams are fairly discolored and let me mention this again this panel has been sitting outside for almost six months I move it around as I chase the sun most of the time because I'm here at the park with absolutely no power hookup and we are in the middle of pretty much nowhere and this is the camper that's been running non-stop on all of these solar panels so as you can see there's no damages there's no cracks a little bit of discoloration right about here but it's nothing crazy but if you go to the back now the back has some serious issue as the weight of the panels is too much it's almost about more than 15 kilograms so what happens is the warp fabric kind of tends to come off and detach from the from the back of the panels the zipper pouch is pretty steady nothing crazy about it a little bit of moisture inside but as you can see the zipper is a waterproof zipper so it didn't get damaged as such but I, as you can see this leg right here is is done like I mean it's it's coming apart um, so what happened was I was camping in really high winds and this thing fell over on its on its face and due to which I just ripped the leg right off like you can see the plastic right through it but everything else seems pretty square so I'm pretty happy with the performance of this panel overall since it's been two years and this panel was fairly cheap it was about 499 Canadian dollars when I got it from Amazon and uh, I think they offer just two years warranty so I'm pretty sure I'm off the warranty chart right now but it served its purpose so even if it lasts for another two or three years I'm gonna be okay with it now I'm gonna take you to the back of my RV and show you the MPPT controller that I've been using to power my RV so this is my brand new Pecron E2000 LFP power station and uh, as you can see right now 
since there is all powers and another off-brand solar panel which I'll tell you about later and three six panels all of these are connected into these tri MPPT controllers so this one is just a 12 volt input this one has the all powers and the other one has the CIGS uh, solar panels collected there is three of them in series so that's about 300 watts so right now it's pulling about 509 watts and like I mentioned it's 9.45 in the morning so sun is pretty low and the sun is not very intense right now and the power as you can see is going up as the sun is rising is 514 516 and we have had a little bit of haze due to the wildfires in Alberta as you can see it's not very sunny right now and the haze is just coming in but we are still pulling about 165 watts 169 initially it went up to about 285 watts and it's sometimes it climbs sometimes it doesn't so like as you can see it's going up now it's about at 242 215 as the haze is coming in it jumps back and forth so these panels have been putting on at least if not 75 to 85 percent of their rated output even after two years which is very good for the price there is no sunlight whatsoever all the light is just peeking through some of the clouds the other side is fairly clear but this is where the sun is at right now and it's it's covered with clouds so we're going to be taking another peek at our power station and see what the numbers are so with full overcast we are getting about 44 watts and the draw is about 6 watts I think that's because I have a something charging inside so I'm not pretty sure why it's doing that and I have another Victron MPPT controller right here which is connected to my uh, solar panel that's on the roof that solar panel is 200 watt and that is just to top up the RV battery here we are again it's fairly sunny outside all three MPPTs are plugged in as you can see it's fairly sunny partially cloudy and we have our off-brand solar panel by facial we have three of our six solar panel and then we have our behemoth of all powers 400 solar panel so as you can see it's very very sunny now and partially cloudy and we're getting about 661 watts 663 and so on So these are the three Buj RV Yuma 100 watt 6 panels connected in series and partially cloudy today we're going to be taking a look at the performance of these panels in direct sunlight so we are getting about 280, 284, 86, 87, 89, it's almost 290 watts, that's good guys, that's considering it's 95 watts per panel that is awesome that is more than 90 that's like more like 96 97 watts per panel now clouds came in and the output has gone down 
actually getting about 110, 66. Oh, I think the really dark cloud just covered the sun right up. This panel is disconnected right now. I'm gonna try to plug it in and see if we get any good numbers after that. Okay, so I plugged this in. So all three MPPD ports are plugged in right now. This has the 150 watt uh, bifacial solar panel. But the problem with that is the DC input only allows for 100 watts. This has the um, all power is 400 watts, and this has three six panels connected to it. Those are three uh, six panels are 100 watts each, and we are getting roughly about 171, 74 at times. So nothing crazy. I think if we leave everything plugged in. We should be pretty square for, since I don't have to run my air conditioner today. So it should be okay for my fridge and uh, my microwave and a little bit of TV and stuff like that. So there you go guys, that wraps up my video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I'm brand new to YouTube. This is my first video. And if you like my content, if you need more, if you want to ask any questions please comment down below and we're going to be seeing you guys in the next video of my off-brand solar panel and the six panel